I'm here at the Met Office with Tim Thorne, who's a space weather forecast. He's going to explain to me exactly how you forecast space weather. Tim, array of screens here. Can you talk me through what's going on? It's quite impressive, isn't it, really? Lots of images. Um, these images are different wavelengths of the sun. Um, they're almost in real time, so what you see now is live, if you like. And these bright uh, spots here are sunspots, um, and we can see if they get brighter and if they flare during the course of um, the day as it turns around. This moody looking green sun, is that, is yeah. that just for <laughs> art or is that uh, the purpose of that? Again, it's, it's a slightly different wavelength, but again it shows flares coming off the sun. It shows these dark areas down here which are coronal holes, which are sort of like doors on the sun and when you open them the wind shoots out. So these areas are where there's quite strong solar winds coming off the sun. And finally, uh, these guys here, um, again, looks very different. It's a different view of the sun. What's this showing? I guess this is probably um, the more interesting ones because this one shows sunspots and when we forecast the, uh, the weather from the sun, we need to know what the sunspots are doing. So we've got this in motion. When they're simple like this, when there's just one spot like this or like that, then they're fairly stable. When they're more intricate like that, the smaller little spots develop in here, they're more liable to be intertwined magnetically, and that can be the area where we would expect a flare to be. By the way, that is about the size of the Earth, so, so the sun it to scale. is big. And when you're sitting here um, looking out for that, what do you see on this screen that makes you pick up the telephone in a blind panic and call someone and say trouble's on the way? Well, we have like uh, zoomed in pictures down here. Um, of the uh, of the sun, and there are different wavelengths. This is a magnetic picture, so green, blue is positive, and yellow and orange is negative. And when they all get intertwined, is when what happens when sunspots get more complex is that the magnetism that binds them together gets more complex, and it twists, and it twists like a rope. And if it twists hard enough, it suddenly will break in the interior of the sun and it shoots off and that's when we get the flare and it can be quite dramatic. It gets to the earth about eight minutes from when we see it um, the effects but it can interrupt the HF radio and uh, So everything. that looks fairly grey at the moment, not too yellow and red so we're safe for now. No, those are fairly simple sunspots but we have had very complicated ones over the last few weeks.